Okay guys, so let's finish the the modeling uh, part. Oh, let's make, uh, maybe we can make this grip, not grip, mm, handle. So let's add a basic cube. cube here. And let's go to wireframe. We can scale it down till it fits uh, on the height of this handle. Let's Scale it on the x-axis. This is okay. Okay, and now let's go to edit mode. I go to vertices mode, and let's move this vertice to this end, and also this one to this end. And now uh, we can select top. Vertices and, and we can move them a bit up and more to the right. So we have some nice lines here. And as you can see, we have this cutout here. So let's uh, let's make a cut. So basically, add a loop cut here. Move it more to the left and add one loop cut horizontally. And move it up. So we have this cutout shape. Let's move it more to the left. So double click G. So it will move along this line. And this was okay, I think. Now we have we can cut out this part. So let's go to solid uh, view. Go to face select mode. Select this, this, and remember to select on the other side too. Select lead faces. And now we want to fill this gap. So go to vertices mode, select those two, and also those top two. Click F to fill the face, and select those four. Fill it. Okay, and now we can go back to wireframe mode, go to front view. And yeah, we can move this vertices more to the right, double click G. And now we can add more vertices to uh, define this uh, very nice curve. So we already have one curve here, <laughs> one vertice here. Move it up. And we can add one more here. Move it up. And maybe one more here, I think. Let's move it. Shape it till it looks right. I think three for a loop cuts is okay. And let's go to solid view. And yeah, here we have the basic, mm, our basic uh, handle. For this yeah so yeah, we are finished with the handle so let's uh, make this now so this is quite straightforward so go back to uh, object mode add a cube get it down so it's very small it yeah till it fits the height of this one let's move it to the left and as you can see it this stands out a bit so uh, we can either make it smaller like this or we can make this higher so i think i will make this higher a bit so let's go to edit mode let's uh one more loop cut here actually and let's move these vertices up and now we can move this vertices to on the z axis and now we have a better shape and now we can actually extrude it so go to edit mode <clears throat> select this face like and not extrude it just move it with g here let's scale it up 
also scaled and let's rotate this one we can we, we don't have to use shear here tool for this and let's yeah see from the top how it looks yeah it looks nice it looks stylized like stylized okay this part is done so let's move to the next part okay we can start and now <laughs> make this one yeah, this is very easy, so you get it down. Get it down around here and let's go to edit mode. Okay, and we can more make it more stylized if we uh, scale it on Z, not Z, Y axis, so it will be our aimer. Okay, so it looks nice. Already looks look like um, uh, the pump shotgun. I actually saw a, a course on on the Udemy about pump shotgun, but uh, yeah, I, I didn't try it. But but I saw that a lot of people when they make this grip, they make make it very uh, rectangular, so it's quite sharp and blocky. But uh, in this tutorial series, we will not. <laughs> we'll make it more smooth, like in the game, because yeah, this is smooth and quite beveled. And you will see it see me doing this later, so it will be more beveled. Okay, so now let's move on to this holders. Um, Okay guys, so uh, I had the problem and uh, yeah, my blender had crashed or something. Uh, so we finished here, I think. So <clears throat> so now we can move on to modeling this holders. Yeah, so uh, you can see that we can use the array modifier here. So let's first uh, click C to reset the cursor to the zero yeah to the zero point and let's add the cube okay now we can click shift h to isolate this cube and we want to re-enable only the, the background but it is called empty and let's scale this down and don't move it up here yet we want to add one more thing which is empty here empty plane axis now let's select empty and the cube and now we can move them up around here so let's select the cube let's get it down this is okay i think we can change everything later we can scale it on the z-axis we around this and let's apply the rotation and scale oh, we only use the scale so doesn't matter well now we can add the array modifier and uh, uncheck relative offset because we want to use object offset uh, yeah now we want to toggle the object offset and select the empty that we created because this will give us more flexibility because we can now if we increase the count of the uh, array let's save it let's save blender first and if i move the empty you can see that other duplicates will move uh, relative to the previous one so if i move this to yeah to the next one basically everything will be it later and now i want to move move it a little bit up because you can see that uh, yeah they go up at the end so let's move it up and the nice thing about uh, this empty that if we get it up you can see that the next one will, will also be scaled relative to the previous one so now let's first uh, we can increase the count so it matched match our uh, holders so it uh, 
17 is okay. So we can move this more to the left a bit because uh, one is too far away. So let's move it to the left a bit. Now, mm, yeah, we basically want to rotate this. So the, the nice trick to do that, let's maybe we can scale it on the Z axis also. So click SZ, so you can see that the other will scale up relative to the previous one. So it's very nice. And now we want to rotate it. So basically go to the, the default cube that we made before. Let's add a modifier, modifier, which is simple deform, and this will basically deform our uh, array. And we don't want that formation type; we want to paper. So uh, we want to taper it uh, on the z-axis, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So basically, this will bend our uh, holders and let's change the factor to be smaller around 0 0.015 okay okay so now uh, after we've done this we can uh, move back to object mode and click alt h to re-enable everything and maybe we, we can move the tube and this far, farer, farer, more far away, because yeah, we have this folder that is not perfectly matched. But yeah, it, it's, it's the best. You can play with the values, but uh, yeah, I'm like, so we can move this more to the uh, right and select the two, and let's also move more to the right. So let's go to solid mode and let's... Yeah, it's very nice okay so in the next part guys i'll uh, do the rest parts so we have uh, this i don't know decoration because i don't know what it's used for and uh, this plate uh, also this one and uh, the trigger and uh, I don't know what this is for but we will make it too so yeah see you guys in the next one and save the the file goodbye